Hi, boys and girls. We'll be learning about the central message in this mini course. The central message? Well, we can find out what the central message or moral of the story is when we read a fable. A fable is a story the author wrote to entertain his audience and maybe to even teach them a lesson. So this week, can you learn a lesson? Our course objectives are, I want you to identify the main character and other story elements. I want you to be able to describe how the character changed from the beginning until the end. I want you to be able to explain the lesson, moral, or central message based on the events in the story. Today is lesson one, story elements. Let's see about identifying the main character and other story elements. So what's the central message? The central message is a lesson, moral, or, oh yeah, those are all the same things. A lesson is the same thing as a moral. A moral is the same thing as a central message. All of those mean, hmm, what the character learns and what you can learn. That's the moral of the story. If you're reading a story and it has a lesson, then that's something that the character learned and you can learn the same lesson. Let's think about the story elements of a book. The author is the person who wrote the words in the book. The illustrator is the person who drew the pictures in the book. The setting is where the story takes place. Characters are the animal, people, and things that the story is all about. The problem, well, that's a conflict that affects the characters or causes big disasters. And the solution? Well, that's how the problem is fixed by the end of the story. Let's watch the and lion listen and the mouse. as we read The Adapted Lion and by the Mouse. Shannon Eric Denton, illustrated by Mike Dubish. Short Tales, Fables, The Lion and the Mouse, read from getepic.com. One day, a bored mouse was watching a lion sleep. Short Tales, Fables, The Lion and the Mouse, adapted by Shannon Eric Denton, illustrated by Mike Dubish, read on getepic.com, The Lion and the Mouse. One day, a bored mouse was watching a sleeping lion. The mouse decided it would be fun to surf down the lion. So the mouse slid down the lion's leg. Suddenly, the lion woke up and saw the mouse. The lion caught the mouse in with his paw. Please, please let me go, the mouse begged. I'll do anything to pay you back, the mouse cried. The lion found the mouse's begging funny. <laughs> okay. You may go, the lion said. That afternoon, the lion continued on his way. He was soon trapped in a hunter's net. The lion roared his anger and the mouse heard him. The mouse chewed through the ropes and freed the lion. The lion was surprised the mouse had freed him. Together, the lion and his new friend walked away. The moral of the story is, little friends may prove to be great friends. 
the lion and the mouse. So boys and girls, if we're thinking about the story elements of the lion and the mouse, I noticed that the main characters are the lion and the mouse. The setting, well, I saw that it was in the jungle and I also saw that it was in the lion's den. So what do you think the problem was? Well, the lion didn't think that the tiny mouse could ever help him, so the lion made fun of the mouse. But in the end, what was the solution? Well, the mouse helped the lion get out of the trap and they were friends ever after. So boys and girls, as we think about our story elements, we also have to think about something called story structure. The story structure is the beginning, the middle, and the end. That includes the problem and the solution. So in the beginning, lion caught mouse. Mouse said he would help lion later if he let him go. Well, lion let him go. Next. In the middle, Lion got caught in a trap. Mouse chewed through the ropes to free Lion. And last, in the end, Lion wanted to be friends with Mouse from then on.